The goal of Peterson and all of the departments in Peterson is always to take care of our customers first. I think that the relationship with our clients is better because they know that there's somebody standing behind the product. They can depend on us to have the products that they want and in great condition, ready to go. I like to go sit with my customers and share with them why something is so amazing, not just try to get it through their door. I want them to have an understanding of where it comes from, what it's built from, who made it, what makes it so great. Any time that a customer goes out of their way to send an email or a call in to say how much they were impressed with one of our drivers, how they handled a situation or our warehouse crew and how they helped them out when they needed product right away after hours or before hours or anything like that. Those are all things that uh, make me proud and I know make these two as well proud. It's an amazing company that's full of amazing people that not only help run it but really care about it. We're a family, that's it. We're not just focused on retail and we're not just focused on food service. So that actually allows us to bring in a really big range in products. We are focused on our retail customers that are in the deli and specialty cheese departments, the bakery departments, small specialty cheese and charcuterie shops, coffee shops, pizzerias, you name it. We do import a lot from Europe. We have a huge range in Kuvadur chocolate, chocolate ingredients, things like prosciutto out of Iowa, porcini mushroom, black pepper brasaola off the East Coast. Another great tool that we have to offer our customers are two in-house specialists. They're available to offer education on specific products, also R&D on menu development and working with technical ingredients. My dad and uncle, George and Chuck, they had a great uncle named Mel Peterson. That's why it's named Peterson. He had a really small warehouse on Queen Anne in Seattle. And he went to visit Uncle Mel, who ended up being very sick and um, ended up passing away. And he was there cleaning up after Mel had gone to the hospital. And someone called on the phone and was asking for their lutefisk. Dad wanted to help them, and there was inventory, so he started just by happenstance started delivering things and the word got out, people would call their friends, oh there's a young man that, that's helping out or taking over for Mel. So business started picking up. My dad called his brother Chuck, the two of them just started working and delivering things and suddenly they had this incredibly viable business, so that's how it started. It's become so important in this world to have everything documented that we made it a priority. Having a perfectly clean facility, all our documents are complete and within regulations. We just got our SQF audit level two last week. We were just certified CTPAT as a preferred importer. We have over 20 employees currently that are HACCP certified. All of these are food regulation certifications that make us second to none. We handle national shipping with the expertise we have in our logistics department. We have a seamless transition from Europe to New Jersey. We have an incredible warehouse in Munaki that ships the product out. We have a 99.91% fill rate. We are a converter on both coasts. A lot of our products come in a bulk format. Not all of our customers, we have a lot of small retailers, a lot of restaurants that can't hold that product or they don't have a cutting facility within their own business. So we offer that service on both coasts. The industry is changing so quickly and it's dynamic right now and it's kind of reinventing itself. And a lot of it is due to consolidation, globalization, and then advances in technology. We just have to be ready for it. And we're, we're, we've already focused on where we're gonna go and how we're gonna get there. The growth of being a local distributor to a national distributor comes out of uh, growing with our customers. We made a decision as a company, our CEO Jack and my dad George made a decision as a company, we could either stay small and stay local, or we could choose to service customers that were moving into national markets while maintaining our local presence. And it was a total gamble. It was the right decision, and that's, that's anchored us, that's helped us get this national presence. Well, we have the greatest fantastic people in any company and I've been all around the world I've been to a lot of other distributors and importers around the country and there's nobody that can match our people the entire team runs the company it takes a massive team effort to run the company 
The long-term employees that are here and have been here and I've grown up around uh, literally my entire life. Uh, Michelle Stevens has been here for 40 years. Jack, our CEO, has been here for 36 years. Justin, I mean, for Director of Operations to be here for 20, you say 24? 24 years, and this it's normal to us. Keith, our Director of Purchasing, has been here 30 years. Scott, um, Director of the Quality Insurance Team, has been here for 30 years. I want the family to grow. They're passionate about the business. They're excited about keeping the legacy going. And we continue to be the best that we can be every day.